Hi, um, it's me. It's been about three years, about three years since I made a video. Um, the last one I think was, I want to say talking about when I had my rib broken. It's been a while. <laughs> um, lots has changed, lots, ha lots of things have changed. I have um, been promoted within the company and moved to another property, so I'm no longer at that property. Um, I'm a manager at another one, and it's been great. One of the best decisions I've ever made was to take this job and like move. Moving to a whole other property with different people and everything was wonderful, um, and it was the right decision for me. And so I'm really happy that I did it. Um, my boyfriend of 12 years finally proposed. Tomorrow will be seven months we've been engaged. I'm like, oh. Um, <laughs> We're getting married sometime this year. The whole virus thing has put a lot of stuff on hold, um, especially with him still being in Sweden. There's a travel ban, like he can't get here. So we will see when that will change and when he'll be able to move and get a job here and all this stuff. He graduated from um, college in June of last year um, with his PhD. So he's moving into careers now and, um, Hopefully, in the not-too-distant future, we'll be finally getting married, um, and within the next, let's say, three years or so, we will be um, moving. I'll be moving out of the country. I'll be going to either Sweden, where he's originally from, or Finland, or Norway, or I have no idea where. We're just going to be moving. Um, <laughs> So that'll be, that'll be interesting, and I'll probably pick my camera up a lot more often when we do that, because it's going to be a big change, big, big change. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think of anything else that's happened. Um, as far as like health-wise, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, autoimmune disease um, that attacks the thyroid, which explains a lot of things for me for the past... 20 years of my life. <laughs> um, that's happened. Uh, my oldest niece was diagnosed with mesial temporal lobe sclerosis. So she's having a lot of issues with that. And we're working with different doctors, trying to get her help and helping her learn how to live with the changes. And it's been devastating for everybody involved, but we're working on getting our, our little girl back, you know, back to the sweet, lovable little girl that she, that we know she is, that has been really affected by this. Um, but she's doing good. She's doing all right right now. Um, yeah. And other than that, I finally opened my Etsy shop. Crazy. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, predominantly just SVG files and PNG files that I've created that you can use like on websites or that you can use um, like when designing something or if you have a Cricut or a silhouette, you can use it to cut and make your vinyls with, stuff like that. So I finally opened that and I'll put a link you know, down below just in case you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, not much else is going on. I just wanted to say hi and hope you all are staying safe and taking care of yourselves and taking all the precautions and staying home if you can. Um, and I will hopefully... See you guys very soon. So, bye.